God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me. Father, let me call thee, Father, this our child returns to thee. Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy. Let me not employ in vain All my sins I now detest them Never will I sin again Good morning. How are you? Glory to God. Today, let us offer this um, uh, Wednesday of Holy Week, this Mass, for the following intentions. Let us pray for the eternal peace of the soul of Marvin Duetis Payet, recently deceased in the Philippines, and for the soul of Zef Mentes anniversary, and for a private intentions, Thanksgiving, Estralida Embradura, 65th birthday, and to Michael and Bridget de Costa on the 39th uh, wedding anniversary. Are they here, Bridget and Michael? I saw them this morning. Oh. Well, good, so let us remember them on this altar of God. And today I also celebrate my own birthday. So please pray for me. I'm getting very old, so I need more prayers. And also I offer this Mass for my parents, especially for my mom, who is 86 years old. And uh, my father already passed away for his eternal peace too. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. For a moment in silence, let us call to your mind all of our sins. And let us ask together God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, we all need healing. We need physical healing, emotional healing, and spiritual healing. And you are our divine healer and our divine medicine. Lord, how mercy. 
Lord, we all are sinners. We fail, we fall. You came to call sinners to repentance. Christ, have mercy. And we believe that you are seated at the right hand of God the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us your servants to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has given me a disciple's tongue so that I may know and how to reply to the weary. He provides me with speech. Each morning he wakes me to hear, to listen like a disciple. The Lord has opened my ear. For my part, I made no resistance, neither did I turn away. I offered my back to those who struck me, my cheek to those who tore at my beard. I did not cover my face against insult and spittle. The Lord comes to my help, so that I am untouched by the insults. So too I set my face like flint. I know I shall not be ashamed. My vindicator is here at hand. Does anyone start proceedings against me? Then let us go to court together. Who thinks he has a case against me, let him approach me. The Lord is coming to my help. Who dare condemn me? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. It is for you that I suffer taunts. The shame covers my face that I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my own mother's sons. I burn with zeal for your house, and taunts against you fall on me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Taunts have broken my heart. I have reached the end of my strength. I looked in vain for compassion, for counsellors not one could I find. For food they gave me poison, in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise God's name with a song. I will glorify him with thanksgiving. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God's seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy and does not spurn his servants in their chains. Lord, be your great love and Glory and, and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us Let greet us our King. Our King. He alone showed mercy for our sins. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. One of the twelve, the man called Judas Iscariot, went to the, to the chief priest and said, What are you prepared to give me if I hand him over to you? 
they paid him 30 silver pieces and from that moment who looked for an opportunity to betray him now on the first day of unleavened bread the disciples came to jesus to say why do you want us to make the preparations for you to eat the passover go to so and so in the city he replied and say to him the master says my time is near it is at your house that i am keeping passover with my disciples the disciples did what jesus told them and prepared the passover when evening came he was at table with the twelve disciples and while they were eating he said i tell you solemnly one of you is about to betray me they were greatly distressed and started asking him in turn not i lord surely he answered someone who has dipped his hand into the dish with me will betray me the son of man is going to his fate as the scriptures say he will but alas for that man by whom the son of man is betrayed better for that man if he had never been born judas who was to betray him asked in his turn not high rabbi surely they are your own words answered jesus the gospel of the lord praise to you, lord jesus christ <clears throat> in one of the proverbs we read the the desire for the money is the root cause for all evils the, the desire for money is the root co- cause for all evil exactly that is fulfilled in the life of this disciples judas iscariot the love of money is the best incentive to betray your lord and judas loved money we read from john's gospel that judas judas had this tendency to steal the money from the common fund that means he really loved money and it was his weakness and that leads him slowly even to betray his own master and at the end his own distraction that is why the word of god says the desire for the money is the root cause of all evil and that is very true in 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 our experiences the people who are very greedy for money the desire for wealth and accumulate possessions and material things and money and the end of their lives will be very chaos and judas is the best example for those people who are running behind accumulating money and they lose their own peace and joy and sometimes we see the people those who have this weakness they even fuck they they don't know how to smile they don't know how to celebrate their lives because their only concentration is always how to make more money how can i accumulate more possessions more material things in their life and judas is the best example for them so my dear brothers and sisters judas loved in the lord sorry he he believed in lord at least he would have believed in lord that is why he would have decided to to follow jesus christ so there was a faith in him but this this desire for money actually blinded him his faith his love to the lord and slowly that leads him even to betray his own master 
And always remember that whenever you do or you plan or you think some evil in your life, there will be always a warning given in your life. For example, here, Judas actually had been uh, planning this maybe many years to, 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 to kill his own master. And then the time comes Finally, before he, he takes these decisions, Lord Jesus Christ gives him his warning, someone from you will betray me. It was really a gentle warning given to Judas Iscariot to change his mind, to, to, to run away from his evil, evil, evil ways and to, 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 to make necessary reparations in his life. And this warning is given each and every moment when we plan an evil in our life. When we, we, we plan anything evil against anyone, there is a warning from the Lord. My dear son, my dear daughter, don't do that. Please. But many times, that's why this desire for, 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 for the evil always blind you, cloud your, your, your thinking. And many times we couldn't hear or understand this warning in our daily lives. During this Holy Week, Judas is one of the, the, the personalities we can meditate and reflect in our life. What about me? What is my relationship with the Lord when this, this, this greedy for material possession, possessions comes in my life? Do I betray Jesus for any kind of these worldly pleasures or material things or possessions or power or greedy for, for money? Just think about it. God bless us all. Amen. Please stand for the praise of the faithful. <clears throat> As we approach Good Friday with confidence in our loving God, let us recall the saving action of Jesus, his servant. that those who suffer unjustly may receive God's comfort through a clean conscience. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our own suffering may strengthen our faith in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That those among us who are putting and making their confessions be because of pride, fear or laziness may come to the realization of the need for God's forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the <clears throat> sick and all those who suffer may experience the healing presence of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may share in Christ's resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For a moment in silence, let us bring all of our personal intentions to God the Father. Let us also pray for Father Prabhu, who is sick at the moment. Let us conclude all these petitions to God the Father through the intercession of Blessed Virgin Mary. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Please be seated. Take this bread. 
Give to and work of human hands. Take this wine. Take a son of a We have God of mercy, singing blessed be our God. Let yeah. us talk this word of the Lord, may we come to see the divinity of Christ. Oh, how many times we have seen the humanity, but now we are going to be born for another world. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Humble spirit and contrite hand may be accepted by the Lord, sacrificing aside this to be pleasing to you, Lord God. O Lord, wash me and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Give them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
make holy. Therefore, this gives we pray by sending down His Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and indeed willingly in his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks and praise. Then he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, then he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Greg Bennett, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Especially we pray for the eternal peace of the soul of Marvin Dewitz Pyuth and uh, for the soul of Zeph Mentes and to Winona. Welcome them into the light of, of your face. How mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, especially with my patron Saint Anthony of Padua, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we might merit to be caused eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Let us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <coughs> Lamb of God. 
You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lord Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. <coughs> the body of Christ came and saved for eternal life. Take off my breath and eat, drink my new Take off my life and live, branch of my vine. Let me be friend you now, eat, take your fill. Don't be afraid to dream, love has his will. Take up your body now, walk till you find.
Take up my bread and eat, drink my new wine. Be a sweet nourishment to good friends of mine. Let me befriend you now, eat, take your fill. Share with your people that love has his will. Take of my bread and eat, drink my new wine. Take of my life and live branch of my vine Those who are taking the communion please Take this most precious body of our Lord Jesus Christ to those who couldn't be with us. Pray with them and minister to them this most precious sacrament of God's love and healing. May God bless you in your ministry. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Let us pray. Endure us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revealed mysteries bear witness, we might be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Please bow. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray, to partake unceasingly of the Paschal mysteries and to await with longing the gifts to come, that persevering in the sacraments of their rebirth, they might be led by Lenten works to newness of life through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace of Christ, Mass is entered. 
And let us go to your home asking the special protection of Mother Mary. Hail, Holy Queen, the Mother of Mercy. <coughs> Sweetness and our hope. To you we cry, poor Barney, children of Eve. To you we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, shine to us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. So thank you very much for coming for this morning Mass. God bless you. Just two few announcements that um, tomorrow, Holy Thursday, we have a celebration. We begin our celebration at 7 p.m. Uh, for the uh, last supper, celebration of the last supper of our Lord Jesus Christ and in the institution of the Holy Eucharist. So there will be no morning prayer, any other prayer service tomorrow morning. Rather, we begin all the service tomorrow at 7 p.m. <coughs> and then there will be no morning prayer after East. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there will be no morning prayer, but there will be no adoration after the Easter until the further notice. Adoration means the morning adoration from 8 to 9, but there will be morning prayer always at 9 a.m. We are actually doing many maintenance work in the parish hall and the office, painting and uh, removing the carpet, etc. So today we need more volunteers to help us to move the furnitures from the garage, from my garage to the parish hall and some of the furnitures from the, from the office to the parish hall. So those uh, strong men and women, please stay here. Uh, and please help us to, to move all these, these things to get ready for the parish hall for the, uh, for the Holy Week celebration. So immediately after this, this Mass, Tina will be there waiting for you in, the gara in front of the garage or in the parish hall. And uh, uh, Tina will guide you what to do and how to do the things. God bless you. And those who are celebrating the birthdays, please come forward. I'm here, but I saw someone else there too. <laughs> Anyone else? Please come. So I can bless you and you can bless me, okay? I'm very sure that you are a very holy woman because you are born in the month of March and especially on Holy, holy Week. So can you please extend your hands to bless us? Lord Jesus Christ, we be present before you. What is your name? Esther. Esther. Lord Jesus, we, we, we ask your special blessings upon this, your daughter, Estrella, who is celebrating her birthday, and also those who are celebrating birthday this time. Those people who are born in month of, who are born in month of March, wherever they are at this stage, bless them, and protect them from all the evil forces and physical illnesses through the power of your holy sign of cross. And always bless Estrella to celebrate her life with her family until you wish all this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So shall we turn together? <laughs> Please sing for us. To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Oh, very strong. God bless you. Very good. God bless you. And enjoy your birthday cake. Okay. Very good. I mean, thank you very much. Thank you for your prayers and blessings. And God bless you. And please pray for both of us. Father Prabhu and myself, don't get sick during this holy week. Very good. God bless you. See you. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry. 
everything to God in prayer. What peace we have from forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. and temptations is there trouble anywhere we should never be discouraged take it to the Lord in prayer can we find the friends of faith Take it to the Lord in prayer.